us now is Jason Johnson. Jason, good morning. Hey, how are you doing? You told Hattie that it wasn't stressful. Clearly, there was some stress there as you end in divorce. Do you, do you admit now there was some stress? There was a lot of stress mm -hmm. in our marriage from the day that we met until up until the day that we were divorced. Mm -hmm. I mean, most of it was normal stress, wear and tear on a marriage, but a lot of it was uh, unneedful came from her family and, and different like individuals. Like what? What from her family? You know, one of the main issues that plagued us was her family wanted me to convert to Islam. Mm -hmm. And I refused to give up my Christian beliefs in order to do that because that's not what our relationship was based on from the moment that we met. And I wasn't going to change for her or for anyone else. When you met, though, knowing that you two came from different backgrounds, different faiths, did you ever think at one point, at any point, hey, the cards are really stacked against us? From day one, I thought the cards were stacked against us. And yet you went through with it. Yes, because I loved her. I cared about her very much. I still do, and I always will. I mean, I might not be madly in love with her anymore because we've been separated for a year, mm -hmm. but I'm not going to discontinue loving her or caring about her simply because we've gone our separate ways. Mm. Is it true that you got death threats? I read that somewhere. So we got true? quite a few death threats. Really? Yes. Do you know who they were from? Um, one for was from a Syrian who uh, grew up in a refugee camp. His... Uh, he wasn't too happy with the fact that she had married a Christian, but our... Were the death threats toward you or her? Or both? Both. Both. He actually started sending emails where he was counting down the days that she had to live. Wow. So the FBI stepped in and dealt with it for us. Wow. And then, so you guys get married, you move to Las Vegas, you live this life that she's totally not uh, ever been exposed to on the Las Vegas trip. You get a job. Um, parking cars at, at a hotel there in Las Vegas, and you really are sort of living paycheck to paycheck, right? Was that also another stress? No, we were doing fine. I you mean, were doing fine yeah, financially? Yeah, from the movie that we did. And, mm -hmm. I mean, working just recently came up. For the most part, we were uh, just hanging out and doing our own thing and enjoying being married until recently. Mm. What is she doing now? You know, she was working, but I don't talk to her. I don't really know what she's doing. The last time I saw her was November 17th when we filed for divorce, mm -hmm. and we really didn't have much to say to each but other. But you said your family still keeps in touch with her. Yeah, they talk to her weekly, daily, mm -hmm. quite often. They still love her and care about her. Will she go back to Bahrain, do you know? You know, I don't know if she'll go back to Bahrain, but she might go back to the U.K. She has family who lives there, her mm -hmm. cousins, who she loves very, very much and misses. And that might be the best thing for her. Jason, you said at the end of Hattie's piece that you would do it all over again. Would you? Yeah, I would. Get married to someone of a completely different faith? No, that I wouldn't do. I would stay within my own Christian beliefs. Not because I have anything against anyone else, but I think it's easier. Just one more stress on the marriage, huh? Yeah, one more. Jason Johnson, thanks so much. Good luck to you. Thank you. I appreciate it.